Thank you, sir, and please thank the congressman for it, for standing up for our freedom. I did want to recognize the Plur Claire nuns of perpetual adoration who are sitting here praying for us that this HHS mandate be stopped. Our next speaker received her medical MD from Texas Tech University, completed her residency at the University of Texas Medical Center in Houston. She has served as the medical director for Columbus Community Hospital and currently works for the third largest emergency medicine group in the country. She is a working mom, woman of faith, and proud parent of four daughters. Please welcome Dr. Donna Campbell. Isn't can you hear me? Isn't Texas a great state to live in? Yeah. Yes. And what an awesome showing of people who are defenders of our faith, advocates for Christ, making a stand to defend the rights given to us by God. I'm glad to be here standing together in defense of our rights as families, churches, and believers. Our nation is founded on Judeo-Christian principles, but also on the freedom of religion, and these are under attack. Wouldn't you agree? We are seeing the unprecedented, egregious expansion of the scope of both the Congress and the executive powers. The checks and balances that are so fundamental to our constitutional form of Republican government have just been removed from the equation like it matters not. The Obama contraceptive mandate falls right in line with the pattern of assaults on our freedom. But this time, he attacks not only our conscience, but our religious liberties. Yeah. Americans, Americans are forced to subsidize it. Then, doctors forced to practice it. Conscious, the conscious, our conscience, shapes our ethical and professional conduct, but the government has no conscience. Obamacare is a monstrosity that replaces individual choice and freedom with government mandates. As a doctor, as a doctor or provider, if you don't practice by the HHS rules, you're not reimbursed. Obamacare institutes what they're going to do is institute an independent payment advisory board. And this board determines what medically and financially is effective. This board will dictate what diagnostics, medications, and procedures that a doctor can order. They're, that's already in effect. Because, and why can they do this? Because they hold the purse strings. But, but then again, well, that's if you're on his plan. Well, we are all at risk for being on the forced Obamacare because other health care insurance companies cannot compete with government insurance. You know, from, from 1993 to 2000, I traveled every year to Ghana, West Africa, where I did hundreds of eye surgeries. And there I practiced in third world medical setting. I had to sterilize my own instruments in an electric skillet that I took with me. Now, you know, we have the best health care in the world. And Obamacare does not reform it, it dismantles it. And, and as the government, as the government wedges itself between you and me, the patient and the doctor, we aren't practicing by medical degree, but we are practicing by governmental decree, and that's scary. We are a nation that's dedicated to the protection of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Pursuit of happiness. We are a shining city on the hill, a country of morals and principles. We just have a few that are not. We cannot afford 
as JFK said, to be a nation that is materially rich and spiritually poor. Can we? Clearly the decision, clearly the decision by the Obama administration misplaces the priorities and assaults our moral fiber. You know, I'm all about life, innocent life. And isn't that really where you want your doctor to be if you're coming to them? As pro-life, pro-family, pro-freedom doctor, I'm here to say enough is enough. Like you, like you, I believe that life and liberty are more precious than freebies given out by Uncle Sam. But sadly, the bureaucrat that's in charge of the Obamacare disagrees. Kathleen Sebelius is actually on record for saying that the reduction in the number of pregnancies will save money. Now, now think about that and look it up on the internet. Now think about that for a second. The government wants less created life because it will mean more material things. This is a radical change in philosophy that puts a moral dagger in the heart of Western civilization. This is the complete antithesis of our Judeo-Christian beliefs. You know, it tells us, God tells us in Luke, to whom much is given, of him much be required, shall be required. Christians, we are defenders of the faith. And if there was ever a time that we need to defend our Constitution and the Bill of Rights, stand up as warriors for our faith, it is now. Wouldn't you agree? I, I stand with you in protecting our religious freedoms. I will fight Obamacare. God bless you and God